Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about give them your absence, okay? So this is essentially when um, if someone doesn't want you, so either they've rejected you or they've dumped you, it means that you've just got to accept it and move on, right? And uh, when I say move on, you know, you have to go into no contact with them, stop speaking to them, because if you want them romantically and uh, they don't want you romantically anymore or they've never wanted you romantically, there's not really a lot you can do about that circumstance. There's not really a lot you can do about that situation, right? Apart from walk away, go into no contact, stop speaking to them, stop talking to them, um, and don't be in the background hoping to still be their friend or anything like that, because that usually never goes well, right? So if someone has rejected you, if someone has dumped you, it's best to give them your absence, to walk away, and to start finding someone who does want you, who does want to be in your life, who does want to be, um, who does want to date you, right? So obviously if you've been rejected, you can do that immediately, but if you've been dumped, then I suggest taking the, a minimum a six month period to get over the relationship so your feelings become less intense because you don't wanna go into a rebound relationship. You need time to heal and time to be alone after you've been in a long-term relationship, okay? So you've just gotta accept it and move on, okay? Because usually if you beg and plead and you try to reason with them, it usually ends up making them even less attracted to you and it often makes the situation much worse. So it's best to just accept it if someone dumps you or rejects you and move on, right? Completely move on, okay? So again, you know, never, you know, go into no contact and never contact someone who doesn't want you, especially if you really want them, if you're really attracted to them. Because sometimes I think people feel like they can, oh, I'll be their friend and maybe they'll change their mind about me once they see how much of a nice person I am, right? And the reason why this doesn't work is because first of all, your intentions are completely off, right? You want them romantically, yet you are kind of putting on a false mask and trying to be their friend. If you want them romantically, then that's probably the more dominant feeling that you feel, right? You can't be friends with someone and still want them romantically at the same time because you're always gonna have an ulterior motive. You're always gonna be secretly hoping that they're gonna fall back in love with you or fall in love with you. And they're gonna notice, right? Don't treat that other person like an idiot. They're gonna be able to tell if you're still in love with them, if you still like them in that way right? Most, you know, most people know and feel when someone is attracted to them, right? So even if you hide it as best you can, they're probably still going to wonder, hmm, I wonder if they're not over it, right? I wonder if that's why they're being pally with me. I wonder if that's why they're being friends with me, okay? You know, if that goes for both an ex and it also goes for someone that has rejected you, right? You can't let, um, you can't allow yourself to be in friend zone with someone who you're still romantically into because that's always going to be the main paramount thing for you, right? Um, and if your intentions are off, they're going to be able to sense it, they're going to be able to tell, and they can tell that you're being inauthentic and weak because everyone is weak in a weaker situation, in a weaker mental state, in a weaker vibe when they're not authentically being themselves and speaking their truth. You have to always speak your truth and give your gift out into the world. And your gift is your authenticity and you being yourself, right? So never allow friendship because, especially if it's with someone that you're romantically into, because you're not being authentically yourself. It's not the truth. It's not the truth of the situation, right? You're sticking around hoping that you're going to be with them, that you're, because your romantic feelings for them will dominate any feelings of friendship. It always does. It always does. So don't delude yourself into thinking, oh yeah, I really want to be their friend. You don't, if you really are romantically into them, you fancy them, you want to be in bed with them, you want to, um, you know, be holding hands, walking down a beach with them, right? If you want that, then you can't be friends with them. You have to walk away from them. You have to move on. You can offer them the olive branch and say, you know, if you change your mind, let me know about it. And I know a lot of people get mad at me for saying that sort of thing, Right, I've had a few comments on another video and I'm saying, oh, you shouldn't say that 
to someone, right? Well, it depends on the person that you're speaking to. Now, obviously, if this was someone who was toxic, who was awful to you, who was mean to you, then obviously you shouldn't try to get back with that person and offer the olive branch to say, hey, look, here's my contact info if you want to get in touch, or you have my contact information if you want to get in touch. But if this was a perfectly nice person and someone who you genuinely would love to be with or get back with, then it's okay to offer that olive branch, okay? It's okay to do that. It doesn't mean that down the road, if they do change their mind, you accept them back because maybe you found a better option. And I always think it's a good idea for you to find a better option for yourself because you don't want to be with someone that's rejected you. You don't want to be with someone that's dumped you, right? Because, you know, most of the time, but there are those rare occasions when you're actually dealing with uh, someone who it will be good for you to get back with. So what I say to people then is, you have to know your own situation. You need to know the other person. You need to know them really well. And you probably do, if they're, especially if they're an ex and you spent a lot of time with them. You know deep down who this person is and if they're a good egg. And they'll be a good egg to get back with, right? So you've got to be very aware of your own circumstance, your own situation. You don't have to offer the olive branch. You don't have to say get in touch with me, you have my contact information if you change your mind, but if it's someone who you really want to be with, who you know is a good match for you, then it's okay to say that to them, you're not um, looking weak in that situation, because you're still walking away from them, you know, you're still not going to contact them ever again, you're still leaving that, at, you know, the let me know if you change your mind, um, here's my contact information, let me know if you change your mind about it, you know, that's the last thing you should ever say to them. You know, I'm not saying that you go back and keep on saying that to them. It should be the last thing you say, right? So that's just another point that I wanted to, to put across. So something else that you can do is, you know, remove them from your social media um, or at least don't post on social media for a while so they can't see what you're doing or perhaps you exclude them from your posts or something like that. You hide them, you mute them um, and you mute them from looking at your posts or something. You know, that's something else that you can do. So um, they, you know, because if you're trying to, if you are trying to reattract them, then giving them your absence is the best thing to reattract them. So if you're not putting anything on social media that they can see, it's basically not giving them a feed of you every single day. So, uh, or every, whenever you post. So if you don't do that, they're going to get curious and wonder about you and wonder what you're up to. So that's another thing that you can do, especially if you are trying to reattract someone. Just go completely ghost on them. Don't speak to them at all. Don't like their posts. Don't uh, watch their stories. Don't post anything. Make them curious about you. Because if they are curious about you and if they still love you, still care about you, still are attracted to you, they will reach out to you eventually. Right, and that's what a lot of people don't get. They don't realize that by going into no contact, you're actually revealing how that person feels about you. If they like you, if they're second guessing their decision, they will reach out again. Um, but if they don't like you and they never will like you back, then you'll just never hear from them again. And then of course you're still, you're free then to go and find someone who does really like you. But never wait around for someone though. Another thing that I see people doing, especially in terms of social media, is they post things and um, they you know, create posts, create stories that are directed out the person that they like, the person that's hurt them, the person that's dumped them, right? Your ex or whoever this is, this person that's rejected you, isn't stupid. They can tell if you've made a post about them, if um, they've, you know, if especially if they're able to view it and see it, right, if you've still got them on social media. So never direct any posts on social media towards them, whether they are direct or indirect, right, whether you think they're subtle or not. If you think that they're subtle, they're probably not subtle, right? Your ex isn't stupid, even though you may feel like they are, right? <laughs> Which is fair enough, but they're not. They're gonna be able to tell. Even if they don't know exactly, there's gonna be a part of them when they see that that thinks, hmm, is that about me? They will be thinking that, right? So never post anything directed about them, especially if it's something sad or mopey or anything like that, or even something that looks kind of angry, because, you know, that just shows to them that you're not over it, that you're emotionally unstable about the situation, and they still have power over you, right? And you don't want anyone to have any power over you, especially you don't want other people to think that they have power over you, okay? So don't post anything like that, any nonsense like that on social media. 
So those are some of my thoughts on why giving them abs- giving them your absence, um, you know, is, is one of the best things that you can do, especially for those people that have rejected you, that have um, dumped you. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye.